Magicians aren't the ones to shy away from danger, and some of the world's most dangerous magic tricks will totally leave you mystified and shocked. The magic has never been so dangerous, even though it's still an act of skill, sorcery, and illusion. So, be it the infamous sword swallow trick, or the famous magician run over by a huge truck. Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to figure out the secrets behind the most dangerous magic tricks of all time. So, let's get started. At number 5, run over by a truck illusion. Yes, you heard it right. If you find it hard to believe, then here's what happened. Penn and Teller, the famous magician duo, performed this terrifying truck trick a few decades back, and it even made the list of the 50 greatest magic tricks ever. The truck in action is this huge truck with Don't Try This At Home clearly written over it. So, it's better if we leave this performance to the professional duo. The performance starts with Teller, one half of the magician duo, lying flat on his back under the huge tires of the truck, while the other half of the duo, Penn, performed the easier task of driving the truck. Now, before starting the truck, Penn had a word with the audience about the possible ways this trick could be done. Is it a trick truck? The reinforced chest on Teller? The fake Teller? Or any other way? Then, he drives this giant truck with two huge front and rear tires going all over Teller's entire body. But what do we see? Even with such a huge impact, Teller's all fine and nothing has happened to him. So, how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. As we all know it, a magician never reveals a secret, but the thing about this trick is that they themselves revealed it for the world to see. And there are no secret ramps present underneath the place where Teller is lying down. Also, every time Penn crushed Teller with the truck tires, Teller came out safe and sound. So, the trick here has got to do not with the secret ramp, but with that truck itself. Plus, the truck that Penn ran over Teller with was also a real truck, under which Teller was laying down unprotected all this while. However, the secret to this trick lies on the far side of the truck, where a set of counterweights made the truck's near side where Teller was lying almost weightless. So, these weights forced the truck's balance to be shifted from the near side tires onto the far side tires, and that allowed the near side tires, now the lighter ones, to lift a little up and just roll over Teller's body without putting any kind of stress on his body. Now you must have got it, there is no magic here, it's all laws of physics expertly applied by the duo. At number 4, the knife throwing trick. You all must have played darts, and it's quite fun when we hit our target. But will you still do it if someone's standing in front of the darts? Yes, you will not do that. But the magician knows his trade as good as anyone, and for him to attempt such a scary act is what makes it a great spectacle to watch. Here, the magician ties his assistant girl to a target, in this case, a giant wooden board, turns that board around, and then gradually steps away from it. Thereafter, the magician takes the knives placed next to him and begins to throw them one by one in the direction of that girl who's tied to that rotating board. But to everyone's shock, the assistant is unharmed every time he throws the knife at her. So, how is that girl safe and sound? Now, let's quickly get to the secret. The magician, in fact, never throws the knife at her. It's all an illusion. Instead, he uses the ever-popular sleight-of-hand technique, in which he hides the knives inside his secret pocket, which our eyes cannot see. During this moment, there's another assistant standing behind the target who makes this act possible. There's a mechanism created behind that board for every knife shot at the girl. Now, for every knife that we see from the front, the assistant releases a mechanism from the back of the target, which makes the illusion as though a knife has hit the target. So, this whole trick, done with an effective sleight of hand, speed, and coordination, makes everyone believe that the knives are actually being thrown and stuck beside her. At number 3, the Death Drop Escape Damien Aditya the greatest escape magician on the show America's Got Talent performed the Death Drop Escape Act, in which he was hung up in the air inside a wooden box with his hands cuffed and completely locked using the nails. 
The wooden box was hung above using the ropes, which was supported using the pulleys. Then the blowtorch was lit that broke the support of the ropes, and that would make the box fall over the three spikes that's strong enough to destroy anyone inside the box. And to make the act look even more dangerous, the spikes were set on fire. So the trap here is, Damien had to get out of the box before the blowtorch breaks the support rope and the box comes crashing down over the spikes and fire. But as we all know, Damien is an escape artist, and it's obvious that he has perfection and control over what he does. So, after the blowtorch was lit, Damien got his handcuffs easily opened, but he didn't have enough time to open the box, and the support rope was finally burnt and broken. But instead of the box just crashing down, the box just hung up above in the air. It was said to be a technical error, which created the tense moment between the judges and the audience on the show. What went wrong then? But suddenly, we see Damien come behind the judges and amaze them to a shock. So if you're really curious how he did it, then let's have a look. If you observe closely, behind the entire setup, you can find a black background that is slightly visible. And it is this backdrop that makes the entire trick come alive. When the box fell and got hung up in the air, Damien had a bypass from the backside of the box that got opened instantly, and using a ladder, he came down behind that black background. And then through the backstage, he made his appearance behind the judges to amaze them all. At number two, the infamous sword swallow trick. Sword swallowing is a classical act that originated in India way back in 2000 BC by fakirs and priests who developed this art alongside many other famous acts. In Britain's Got Talent show, Alexander Magala performed the sword swallow act, with many calling it the most dangerous BGT act of all time. In this act, the sword swallower slid a blade down his throat and performed a variety of flips to the dismay of everyone present there. He then slid headfirst down a pole, stopping centimeters away from the blades of a chainsaw. In another variant of this trick performed around the world, the performers can be seen swallowing not just one, but multiple swords down their throat as if it's nothing, and then pulls it back out without any injury. So are the swords fake or real? And do they really swallow it all the way down? Well, here's how they perform this trick. There are two ways to do it by way of illusion and in reality. The sheer danger that can happen in swallowing a sword through a person's mouth must have made many of you believe that this act is all an illusion than to believe that a person can actually guide a long sword all the way into his gut. But the fact is that swallowing a sword is not a trick, and the point of the sword actually enters the performer's gut. Also, this is a skill in which only one out of every 250 million people in the world can do perfectly. So this makes the practice quite dangerous, and it should never be tried anywhere by anyone. But how do they make that long sword enter so deep inside their body? Well, the act is an interaction between a human's upper gastrointestinal tract and a sword. And through years of practice, the performer has learned to stop his gag reflex from happening, and he even learned to line up the parts of his body into a straight line. So he controls his gag reflex, straightens his esophagus and shoves that blunt sword right through his mouth to perform this scary act. Another secret is that the sword swallowing is basically just the sword being plastic, and when the performer pushes it into his mouth, it rolls up, and when he pulls the handle back, he keeps his lips tightly biting the sword blade so that the roll doesn't fall out easily. So now it's up to you to decide, do they swallow the sword for real or take the help of a gimmick blade? So finally, the most dangerous trick on our list, the sword stabbing trick. James Moore once performed a great sword trick on Britain's Got Talent, where he got himself stabbed. First, the assistants placed James on the tip of the sword and left him. A few seconds later, the sword goes through his body, leaving the viewers and the judges completely in shock. The two helpers then lifted him off the sword, and he was all good. The trick generated quite a buzz and puzzled millions who just couldn't believe how he's done it. Well, here's the secret. James had a special support on his back, hidden under his clothes. And it also had a small slot to hold the sword in it. Now when the assistants place him on the top, 
the sharp tip of the sword falls and is hidden inside its bottom part, which then enters the hole in the support. This easily makes James balance in the air. At the same moment, a fake sword appears through his stomach, which has a device that creates an illusion of a sword going straight through him to create this shocking illusion.